Now that you've finished recording your screencast, you can use iMovie to edit your screencast and really get rid of some parts that you don't need and streamline the approach. Just remember that this is all completely optional and it's not necessary to do. You can take that file that you created and upload that to Google Drive, YouTube, or Schoology as is. The first thing I'll do is open the iMovie app. I'm going to select the plus and select movie. I'm going to find my screencast, select it to where it's a blue check mark, and select create movie. And I'll scroll to the beginning. Now we can start the editing process. If you notice, if you click on your movie, we'll call that the timeline here, you're going to get yellow brackets around this. If you hold your finger on the yellow brackets, you can trim really easily. If you want to take out a spot in the middle, you can find that spot, select um, split, and find the other spot, select split again, select that middle piece, and then down here you can select delete, which is a really nice feature. You also have the undo feature if you don't want to do that. You have some other great tools. One of my favorites down here is volume. So if I'm doing work where I'm not talking, I can turn that volume down and I can have music in the background as I'm going through that work. The work or the music will naturally get louder. You'll see that on the next video. You have speed. It's important to know that if I change the speed of this to two times, it's going to make the sound of my voice like a chipmunk. In this lesson, we're going to look at finding the volume. However, if I'm up here at the top where you have the settings, I can go into settings and I can change that speed changes pitch. And now turn it on. We move rectangular prisms using formulas. And it won't change the pitch. However, it's still not easy to understand, so I'm going to keep it at one. You can add titles. These titles down here, you can add any of those if you'd like, and that will allow you to put in like subtitles as you're going through. Okay, so those are some of the editing tools that we can use to really bring this um, screencast to the next level.